Their fight has inspired and will continue to inspire other workers to stand up too. American Rights at Work gave its Eleanor Roosevelt Human Rights Award to Woodworkers Department Director Bill Street and Sweden's GS Union President Per Olof Scher for their hard work organizing IKEA Swed Woodworkers in Danville, Virginia. Workers who now have the benefits of an IAM contract. We're just the messengers. We're just picking up the award. The award goes to the 318 people in Danville, Virginia, who, who took on the largest user of wood fiber and one of the largest retail corporations in the world. Workers had dealt with unsafe conditions and mandatory overtime until IAM organized them. With the help of union brothers and sisters in other states, Sweden, and other countries. And the next thing that happened was the Aussie workers put up a picket line around an IKEA in Melbourne, and the Iggy Bau unionist in Germany did a flash mob in the store, and IKEA realized at that point that the workers in Danville were not alone, and the workers in Danville realized they were not alone. Thank you. Street and Scherer's tireless work paid off with a fair election, a signed contract, and renewed faith in union solidarity. The fight we had in Danville was a success for international trade union work. International solidarity for workers' rights will have increased importance in our globalized economy. It wouldn't have happened without the international support. The international support was able to freeze the anti-union consultant, and that's what enabled us to win that campaign. The most important for, for the workers is that they have to know and stand up for their rights. And there is always an international solidarity among workers. So I, I wish that all workers knew that. These awards are a symbol for workers globally, that union rights are human rights, rights that must be fought for every day. For the Machinist News Network, I'm Tanya Hutchins.